The Komodo GUI software offered by Total Phase is an easy to use graphical interface that is supported on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS and used with the Komodo Can Duo interface to interact with the CAN bus. In this demonstration, we show how to use the general CAN mode within this GUI to easily send and receive data on a CAN bus. The Komodo GUI software is used in conjunction with the Komodo CAN Duo interface. The Komodo interface is a powerful two-channel CAN bus analyzer that can be configured as a passive monitor to capture CAN data in real time or an active CAN mode to transmit data across the bus. To demonstrate how to use the general CAN mode function within the software, we will use the Komodo interface to actively transmit data to send a message to the LCD screen and illuminate LED lights on the CAN I2C Activity Board Pro. To get started, we will open the Komodo GUI software. Now, connect the tool to the software by selecting the Connect button in the top menu bar. Select the connected Komodo interface and choose a port. The Komodo CAN Duo interface offers two ports for simultaneously operation as a protocol analyzer using the data center software. Once connected, a blue light will appear on the analyzer signifying that the analyzer is connected and powered on. At the top of the window, a few configurable fields exist. Starting from the left, we can set the target bit rate change the CAN channel from A to B and vice versa, as well as start and stop the capture. There are also fields where users can enter device information and data for programming applications. In the CAN ID field, we will enter the CAN ID of the target device. For this example, we will set the CAN ID to 0x142. This is the ID of the LCD screen on the CAN activity board. DLC stands for Data Length Code, which specifies the number of bytes to be sent to the device specified in the CAN ID field. For this example, we will set the DLC to 7. If checked, the Extend ID button will allow the CAN ID field to accept 29 bits rather than 11 bits. If the Remote Request button is checked, it will make the CAN packet a Remote Request packet instead of a normal data packet. The One Shot tab if checked, tells the Komodo interface to only attempt to transmit the CAN packet once. If a delivery failure occurs, the packet will not be retransmitted. If one shot is disabled, the default timeout of 10 milliseconds is used. The Komodo interface will attempt to retransmit for up to 10 milliseconds upon failure. For this demonstration, we will keep all of these tabs unchecked. Next is the message field. The message field allows users to enter up to 8 bytes of data that will be sent to the destination node. Since we are interfacing with an LCD in this example, we will type in the word hello in the ASCII section of the message field. Next, we have GPIO settings. The GPIO settings dialog offers a way to configure, get current values, and set new values of general purpose input and output pins. While the dialog is open, all options in the main window are also accessible. Below the GPIO settings is the transaction log. The transaction log is where all the commands that are executed will be displayed. The transaction log will show you a timestamp of when the transaction occurred, the device ID being interfaced with, and the data. Below the transaction log are options to create a batch script, clear the transaction log, or export the transaction log as a CSV file. Now that we have specified the CAN ID, DLC, and data message, we can press the Send Message button to initiate the transaction. Once the message has been sent, we can see the LCD on the activity board displays the message hello. The CAN I2C Activity Board Pro comes equipped with a few LED lights. We can also similarly interact with the LED as we did for the LCD screen. First, we will enter the CAN ID, which is 0x13a. Then for the DLC, this time we will use 1 as the DLC. Enter the data, then click Send Message. One of the green LEDs is now illuminated. As you can see, using the Komodo CAN Duo interface and general CAN mode in the Komodo GUI software is an easy and excellent way to test and debug applications. 
For more information about the Komodo interface or other Total Phase tools, please visit us online at www.totalphase.com. 